Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about programmatic assessments. So the question is, can we use one-off assessments to assure that a student has met certain learning outcomes? My answer is that no, we can't. Single assessments provide a snapshot of a student's learning. It doesn't tell us anything about the trajectory of their learning, how far has the student improved, is this good quality work for this specific student, um, are there other variable factors about this assessment? Perhaps the student was stressed or sick, or perhaps they were just having a very good day. A single assessment really doesn't give you a rounded view of a student's learning. If the assessment also takes place over a period of time, the student could use AI to influence uh, what they're delivering, and so what they deliver might not represent their learning, it might be their learning enhanced by AI. It also means that there's also very little opportunity for learning, so pedagogically, single assessments are not very useful because the student can't actually learn from the assessment. They just learn whether they got the grade they wanted or not, rather than being able to reflect on a mistake and correct it for next time. It also encourages teachers to teach to the test. So teachers want their students to look good. And so they might focus on certain aspects rather than others, just because that's what's going to be in the test. And finally, it doesn't really reflect what the real world is like. So it's not building up skills that the student can actually use in the long term. We want lifelong learners, but single assessments really emphasize rote memorization for specific tests or exams. And what we really want is the student to be involved in problem solving and reflecting on their learning and being able to make adjustments based on feedback. So what's the solution? Programmatic assessments. So programmatic assessments it takes a longitudinal view on a student's learning. It says that we are not willing to make high stakes decisions based on simple data. We need a complex view of the student's learning to be able to assess whether they have met certain learning outcomes or not. So the student is given multiple tests and assessments over time and they are provided feedback and feedback only. So we're not making any decisions, we're just trying to help the students improve for next time. So the student gets feedback and the feedback says, you're doing well in these areas, you need to improve in others. And it allows the student to take some ownership of their learning to be able to go away and say, okay, I need to focus on these specific outcomes because I'm clearly not showing enough competence in these areas, but these other ones are fine. And so the student can adapt about what they're doing to be able to meet the required learning outcomes at the end of the program. And that's it, we take a view only at the end of the program. So programmatic assessment developed out of medical education, and it's really not a surprise that it came out of medical education. One, because in medical education, it's very important that we know and can assure that the students have met the required learning outcomes. We need to know that the doctors and nurses know what they're supposed to know. Plus, doctors and nurses also don't make decisions based off a single piece of data. They don't just take your temperature and say, oh, it's this disease. No, they take multiple readings, they want to know all about your history, they need to get as clear a picture as they can before they're willing to make any diagnosis. And it needs to be the same in education. We need to know and be able to understand a holistic view of the students learning and their learning over time. Not all students are learning at the same rate. Students are different. They come in with different prior knowledge and they want to get to different places. And we need to be able to allow them that opportunity for growth over time. Professor Lambert Schuett has a really nice quote about programmatic assessment. He says, Competence is a phenomenon as complex as health. And much as I wouldn't say to my patients, you're 43.7% healthy, I'm not inclined to tell my students, you're 43.7% competent. So I hope this video on programmatic assessment has been interesting and given you some food for thought. I think these ideas can be rolled out incrementally in a program. You don't have to jump from what you're currently doing to 
full-fledged programmatic assessment. It can be something that is done gradually and just being able to provide opportunities for students to complete an assessment that doesn't have a pass-fail grade attached is one step in the right direction to being able to allow them to focus on the feedback rather than focusing on the grade. All right, if you found that interesting, please let me know. And if you have any comments, I'm keen to read those. All right, bye for now.